Hey everybody, Arthur here with another mail haul video. And today I got a mail haul. It's a mini mail haul, a little bit, just a little guy. Um, I was away on vacation, visiting my brother and everything, enjoying some of that beach life, salt life, whatever you really want to call it. I was away from the cold weather I was dealing with here. And now I'm back home and I had some packages waiting for me. And let's go ahead and dive in and see what I got. And it's a, actual has a pickup involved too. So it's not all mail. So... Thanks to um, my boy Nathan Simmons, I picked him up a Dandy Moonstar, and I was like, hey, I got you one, I got you taken care of. He's like, well, he's like, let me at least like find you a Mandalorian. He found me a Mandalorian, boom, regular, regular Mando. So I got the carbonized and the regular, so they'll look cool within my Mandalorian squad because he is painted differently enough that he could be his own different character at least on my shelf. But yeah, when I ended up having the Danny Moonstar for Nate, he ends up finding a bunch of them. So he's like, I don't really need it anymore. So sorry, Nate. Sorry. Sorry that you end up finding stuff after people find it for you. And so I got stuck with a Danny Moonstar. And I had a box from my boy Shoki from Shoki Reviews. And he had. A Danny Moonstar because I had him pick me up one and so now I don't know where it is so I got two so I might as well get a third one so I can build all three so it just sort of makes sense that way I was only gonna build up Wolfsbane but now that I got two I just need one more and I'll just build all three of them and have a new mutants shelf and let's talk about marvel legends here for a second i'm trying to get away from them and they just find ways of drawing me back in like i'm trying to finish off my x-men shelf well then they go through and they announce age of apocalypse and they just announced a huge wave of them we got Jean gray we got dark beast we got more we got wild child we got uh, X-Man, and then we got uh, Sunfire, six figures from Age of Apocalypse. And Age of Apocalypse, to me, is probably one of my favorite storylines. I love it from beginning to end. It was just really well written. The artwork was pretty cool, and uh, probably one of my best, uh, one of my favorite, I wouldn't say my best, but my favorite looking Magnetos and Apocalypses for sure. And uh, now they're releasing those figures, so... When you think you're getting away, they just find a way of drawing you back in. And it's crazy, but I'm trying to get away from Legends, but I don't know if it's going to happen anytime soon if they keep pumping out X-Men and stuff like that. But I'm going to try to be more selective, even though I have a bunch of them back there. I think I got the Molten Man Wave. <laughs> I got a review still. Uh, I got some from the Avengers Wave. I like Hercules and stuff. Like, I... I I, one day I'll have to show you, like, I have a ridiculous, like, stack of stuff I need to go through, and speaking of uh, stacks, let's go ahead and continue with this. So, Shoki also, and, and it's funny, I found this at a store before he sent it to me, but I wasn't going to pick it up, even though, because I knew he picked this up for me, but he also got me a Emma Frost. And looks pretty good. Has a couple little paint mishaps on the flesh on the chest, but nothing, nothing too crazy. It's a, it's a solid figure. So, legends, legends, and more legends. And then I didn't realize he, he mentioned about sending this to me because he sold off his collection. He got, he sort of purged it. Because he was getting, he, he was running out of uh, space for a lot of stuff. Or just like, I don't know, he was just purging what he was collecting. And uh, yeah, I guess every time I move, camera's all dark and bright. Dark and bright. But uh, got me a, the real Wave 1 trash head. Came with his little grocery gang self. See that there? Awesome. 
and his little fishbone weapon. So I'm only missing the ones I want. I need to get the spider. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it because Moose Toys stopped producing these guys. So I still need the original Gooey Chewy Grub Sub. And then I need the spider villain. Um, I, I'm, I'm probably missing other things. Um, my my buddy David Bluker says he has uh, some sort of extra... I think he said something that he was going to mail me of that was dealing with grocery kings. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, like these guys, these guys are great. And I'm sad that Moose Toys stopped producing them. I feel like they could have kept going with this wave or this line. Not really wave, this line. We could have made... They could have made a crazy amount of money because these things are so cool and people are really getting into them because they're so unique. And instead, they end up investing into other stuff. I don't know. Hopefully, we'll see a comeback from them um, instead of this weird dissect insects and get the slime and put together some little figure. Like, I'm not into those. And they're nearly as cool, in my opinion. So then we go into my pickups. Uh, this is a, well, it's still a haul, I guess. It's a pickup mail haul. Um, Amazon had something pop up, um, and I wanted it. I, I'm, I despise Fortnite, uh, and and I'm. If you play Fortnite, I'm all. It, it's okay. I just don't like it. I played it when it first came out. It was fun in the building. It just, it wasn't my cup of tea. I have no, no problems with people playing it. It's just, I, I'm not a fan of it. You know, there's so many other games that I play. Like I'm a huge gamer. Um. And I play a lot of games, so I just, it wasn't my cup of tea. If you enjoy it, awesome. This is no burn towards you. Um, I just, I myself, my person, do, I don't care for Fortnite. Um, but the figures that McFarlane's doing are insane. Um, I know I did a cuddle team leader that I picked up. I haven't posted, uh, I probably did post up the review um, a couple before this one, but uh, Cuddle Team Leader was my first step into the Fortnite McFarlane figures. I started with the Jazzwares, and the Jazzware ones, they were cool, because I wanted that Firefly, um, and then I also wanted the, uh, the wildcard guy, because he had the different masks and stuff, and they fit more of the legend scale. The McFarlane ones are a lot bigger, but they're pretty cool. And what I had to have, because it was so weird, is the banana. Peely. I mean, it, it sort of works with this weird action figure -y type of nonsense. I mean, he's a banana guy. This is like a trash can guy. I'm into the weird stuff like that. Um, Jazzwares has this uh, tomato head guy. And Jazzwares also has a fish ball, like fish bowl head guy. And I'm tempted to pick up the fishbowl one because, again, that's, again, fitting. The, like, it hits that nostalgia for me and reminds me also of Earthworm Jim. But I, I don't know. Like, I, I know Fortnite. There's two others by McFarlane that I want to get. It's called The Prisoner. That one looks pretty cool. And then there's, like, this uh, crazy fire knight or fire something. Dude's, like, blue and black and has, like, a big sword. And, like, they look really cool. And the articulation's not that bad. So... Whew. I'm trying not to go down that that hole. Like that's like that's the thing with collecting is like you have to try to stay in your lane. You start branching off all these different directions, then you end up like me and have too much stuff and need to get more display cases, but I keep getting figures. If you need display cases, get display cases and stop getting figures. Now, when I was way this I was all the way in uh Panama City Beach florida and something popped up on my phone i think it was through facebook somebody might have posted it i'm not too sure but i i think it might have been in one of the groups plastic cannibals one of them either way one of the groups posted up this gamestop like deal of the day or it was a limited clearancing out this was an item i've been eyeballing and wanting i just couldn't pull the trigger on the cost the cost wasn't even an issue because it is very very worth that cost um and i just kept waiting because i was just waiting for the the funds to really hit to where i could just on that and invest into invest into it but i waited and i'm like all right i'll get it eventually i'll get it eventually oh maybe i won't get it but i've been reviewing these figures already um 
but these are different figures from that wave or set. The box is a little bit squishy for what it actually is. This bad boy, this guy was on sale at GameStop, 60% off. San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Just want to show you what the yeah. Look at that regular price on the bottom. It's crazy. And then can't tell if he can even blocking me, but all this goodness. You got the four spectral Ghostbusters. You got. Stay puff, and you get a tear dog in there, and uh, just so you can see it without as much glare, this is done in that matte style packaging. And that's what you get in the package. Now picking this thing up is crazy because I want to go pick it up on the top. It's sort of not really supportive, so you got to sort of like grab it on the sides. But crazy, crazy deal on that, sixty percent off. That's insane. Like I was super, like when I went to pick it up, um, the GameStop guy was arguing with the customer. Like it was bad. Like he was he's a very loud vocal person, so when he's talking, it sounds like he's like yelling or being maybe a jerk. This old man didn't took it like a certain way, and then there was somebody training. But either way, they were arguing. This, the kid with the old man started crying, saying stop yelling because they were both being loud, and the old man was being a jerk. But it was crazy <laughs> as I was waiting in line for it. And then after that all left, I was the next person. And he's like, oh, you're the guy that got it. You literally caught it at a minute before the sale was done or blah, blah, blah. Pretty much, I guess the guy wanted it himself. But yeah, you snooze, you lose, man. That Getting on that phone, I was like, Ch -ch 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 -ch, and had to get it. Had to have it. So that is my uh, mail haul. But I did another pickup at another GameStop. So, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, maybe it wasn't yesterday, it was one of these days, you know, GameStop has a uh, bag deal, and everybody getting, you know, everybody was getting like the Vegeta or Goku Dragon Ball bag, it was small, I was like, I need myself a nice, bigger bag, and they had a Thanos one, I was like, that's pretty cool, so you buy this bag, it's $5, I had a bunch of Xbox 360 games that were, uh, uh, they were rotting in a box because I either re-got them as a download or I had the better version of them because my Xbox One. Uh, so they just been in this box and I'm like, you know what? Let me trade them in and see what they're worth. So I basically got this bag for free in a sense or almost free because basically Xbox 360 games are worth maybe a dollar or less. A dollar if you're lucky. And then you got 20% off of what you could fit into it. So I picked up the wife, uh, the Harry Potter advent calendar for December. She's a huge Harry, Harry Potter fan. And I thought those little pops, like you get one each day. Um, I'll probably make her like a little case with acrylic uh, little stands. So she can have them all on display and have them like on the end cap, like on a bed stand or something like that. Whatever she wants. But I got in there and they only had one. Or else I would have picked my buddy Tony up. The nice legends love triangle this thing is it's pretty wicked i'm not gonna lie like the whole package is cool but mine has defects uh, my jean gray main head her mouth has a glob of flesh paint right there so she has a glob of uh, flesh paint in her mouth both masked Wolverine heads are painted pretty poorly. Um, one of them that he's his grinning teeth. I don't, I don't know if you guys can even see this stuff. Like Jean Grey, you can see sort of the glob on her mouth where it looks weird. Um, yeah, you really can't because I have too much reflection. But the gums on this one are painted shit. They're shifted. That I could deal with. But then when you get into this one, it has like weird flesh dry brushing, and it's just. These two heads and her main head is rough. I emailed Hasbro. Um, I always do. Like, I have the worst luck with Marvel Legends. 
the worst luck when it comes to paint apps with Marvel Legends. Uh, stuff missing. That's just my luck lately. And I got it. Like, I, when I went in there, I didn't look at it. it. They only had one. I was just like, boom, get it to me. I, I'm, I'm excited. I got in the car and I was looking at it. I'm like, you kidding me? So I started, like, getting angry. My buddy Kevin, he hit me. He was like, dude, he's like, just get it. You're not going to get it at that price ever again. You know, this and that. And honestly, I feel like that three pack might end up being a Black Friday deal or something because you know they're going to have a bunch of them. But either way, for that price, I ended up still keeping it. And then I was like, all right, there's no GameStops around me that have it. So I can't really exchange it out. So what do I do? I want it. I can't return it and get it online at GameStop because. I'm not going to get the same price. So I was sitting there trying to figure out the best way. So I've had very good luck with Hasbro taking care of me when it comes to having issues. So I reached out to their customer service, emailed them, sent them pictures, receipt info, the UPC, where I got it. It's been escalated up. So who knows what's going to do it. And all I asked for, for was three replacement heads. I don't need a whole pack. I don't need all of them replaced. I just want the three heads replaced. That's it. The figures themselves are fine. I hope <laughs> they look fine, but I mean, they escalated it up. So I'm hoping to get a response uh, any day now. And that's all you have to really do. Like Hasbro does a really good job when it comes to taking care of the customer when they can. A lot of times they want you to try to do it with the within the retailer. If you get from Hasbro Pulse, they get you taken care of no problem. Um, but when it comes to this sort of situation... It's a unique piece. A lot of people are going for it because of like Jean Grey and stuff like that. I would think that they would see it and be like, yeah, that's not acceptable. Because like Jean Grey's lips, not only was there a glob on her lips, but her flesh where her band is on her head was like all like like scratched up, missing and stuff like that. And I'm like, it's it's rough. So I'm hoping they'll do something for me. But I've they helped me with my Silver Samurai. They helped me with my Iron Man and uh, Namor. Um, when that, when that came out during like the Black Panther run, I think that was, but they've been really good with me as long as you act on it. And it's not a old ancient figure, because I know a lot of people are like, all they do is they send you a, like a, a figure that's, you know, equal value. It's just something they have, but if they have it, it's, if it's a new figure, they're going to have it in stock and they'll help you out. But if you picked up a older figure and you're like, Hey, um, I just picked up a pizza Spidey from a from a GameStop or whatever somebody place that has this older stuff and it's defective. They aren't, there's no way they have a pizza Spidey just laying around that they're going to be able to replace it. Let's be real. Inventory cycles in and out, so the newer the item is, the earlier you catch the defect, the better. But they're pretty good. They take care of me, you know. When it comes to it, I haven't had any issues. Nothing to where I can get angry about. And that sums up my mail haul and pickups. So if you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. If you know my channel, hit that subscribe as I'm pumping up content as quickly as I can every other day, every day, whatever you want to classify it as. And uh, make sure you guys check out Toy Co. Toys and Collectibles as that is an amazing place to pick up figures. You got the website down below. If you see something on that website, use the promo code down below because it's for you guys to get free shipping on whatever you order through that website. Plus, make sure... You guys check out the Facebook groups. You got the community, interact with your fellow nerds, talk figures, trade figures, really have a good time. But you also have the pre-order group, which honestly is the best thing about it. Um, not saying the community is bad or anything. It's just like the, the pre-order group is awesome for the fact that you get to know what's coming out. Being in the know when it's in the collecting community is a huge, huge benefit. But also, Toy Code doesn't mess around when it comes to pricing. They give you an amazing price, which I have yet to see Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, Megalopolis, you know, beat their pricing. Toy Co. stomps the competition. You get it delivered to your doorstep in a nice crispy box and it's great condition. You're not paying anything extra like Big Bad Toy Store charges you to have your stuff delivered to you or in a minty box. Like, really? You're paying extra to get something in, in a better condition? It, it's It's ridiculous. So definitely check out Toyco. Uh, it's it's a great place. I support it 100%. That's why I talk about it. It's not because I just want to talk about it till I'm blue in the face. It's really because I want you guys to check out Toyco and start saving some money. And that's that's the biggest thing. Collecting is not a cheap hobby. Wallets hate you guys. My wallet hates me. So definitely check out Toyco and make sure you check out Plastic Cannibals. That's my group. Answer the three questions. Come on in. Talk figures. Trade figures. Just have a good time. We look out for one another and we're really 
want to be that group that if you're looking for something, we got you. You know, if you hey, I'm looking for a pizza, Spidey. Well, somebody finds it at whatever they pick it up at. It's basically cost and then shipping. Like we don't sit there and try to scalp one another. And that's the great thing about the group is we're not full of scalpers. We'll trade, look out for one another, but yet no scalpers. Scalpy, no scalpers. So, or whatever, fox swiping, no swiper, whatever that Dora fox thingamajig does. But either way, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.